Chef Scott, sometimes we have a hard time creating this starch that's gonna go with our wild game, right? So I'm creating some risotto cakes. And when you get a box of risotto, follow the directions. I mean, you're cooking it. Risotto is like a, a pasta rice, so it takes a lot of time and patience, but it's got a lot of starch, so you'll see that you can form great uh, little cakes like this. Now, honestly, I did put an egg in there to bind it very well, but once you get the toppings on this, you're gonna love it. So we're gonna sear them with a little olive oil on medium, high heat until they're golden brown, flip them over once, and they should be ready to go. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and work with this wild turkey drumstick. Now, these wild turkey drumsticks like are very, very tough, so you gotta break them down a lot. I placed mine in duck fat and put it in the oven and cooked it for about four to five hours, and now you'll see how tender it is. So you're just gonna grab this leg, and you're just gonna pull all this meat off of there. And what we're trying to do is just saute this. You'll notice too that the wild turkey like drumstick, it's like pink in the inside. Don't be discouraged by that. It does not mean that it's not cooked. That is the color of wild game. Sometimes you have to be a little, uh, you know, you gotta adjust a little bit because even elk is better than like beef, you know? So don't get discouraged. You cooked it for five hours, it's done. The simplicity of this is I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. And then I made a mint cilantro chutney. Now, I tend to use a lot of cilantro, but sometimes it needs to be powered by something that's a little more refreshing. So I added one bunch of cilantro, one bunch of mint, one jalapeno to lime in a blender with some salt and pepper, and I blended it up. Once you get the risotto cake so they're nice and golden brown and they've heated up, they're ready to be served, okay? Put the risotto cake right at the bottom, turkey confit on top of there, and then you're gonna get your mint cilantro chutney and pour it right on top. Now remember, you don't have to just use turkey, you can use duck, you can use rabbit, elk, whatever. The whole point is you get the starch at the bottom right so that you can start adding a little different spices to your dishes every day. So thank you so much for the awesome tip of the day and how to use starch on your everyday wild game meats.